Thank you, Courtney. I'm here with Alan Larkin. Alan, I thought I was walking into an art gallery. This is, your house is basically an art gallery, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. It's beautiful. Yeah. You have such a beautiful home. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about your art, because obviously the term artist is so broad. I mean, you know, there's so many types. How would you define yours? Well, I uh, taught, well, for one thing, I taught many years at Indiana University in South Bend in the art department, where I taught printmaking and drawing. That was my area of specialization. But since then, I've, I've broadened my interest into uh, painting as well and pastel art. Uh, mostly I'm interested in figurative, realist work. Mm -hmm. uh, I spent the last five years uh, roaming around the state of Indiana with a bunch of uh, Indiana plein air painters and learning from them. So I've also been doing that. Tell me a little bit about what we have on the table here. I love everything in your house. I love the furniture. Uh, I love the cup of tea that I was just having a few minutes ago. But yeah, tell me, uh, what's the inspiration behind these? Well, uh, this, this group right here in the center is a group of 13 cats that are, that are a deck of cards, a suit and a deck of cards. So they start off with a one cat, and then there are two cats, three cats, four cats, and so far. Oh, okay. So, so long up the ladder. It, until you get to the face cards, there's a jack, queen, king. Nice. And usually when I work, I work in a series. So this was a series that I completed, although it would be nice to do another three decks if I, <laughs> you know, uh, get to live that long. <laughs> this, I'm sure you will. What, what's your expectation on your life oh, here? I'm going to 100. Okay, good, yeah, good. That's You'll, right. Yeah. You've got plenty of years left. <laughs> Have you ever thought about actually making these into a deck and selling them? Because oh, I, I know a lot of cat people. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so that would be ultimately what I will do. You know, there's, yeah. there's going to be a merch side of this whole <laughs> enterprise. This is the beginning of a, a tarot deck. Uh, tarot is a fortune telling yeah. card game. They all have um, symbolic yeah, elements they're... that are included that are meant to tell a certain kind of story. Yeah, and when they're pulled out. Yes, I, I got right. the full one, but no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, before yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> now I know they don't mean necessarily always exactly what they mean. There's deeper ways of reading them, and that's cool oh, of as course, well. and it's a game, of course. Yeah, so yeah. We don't. I don't take them seriously, but I, yeah. I love the imagery that the mystical imagery that yeah. they use. So when you say everything in this room is yours, like, are we talking about like these paintings on the wall? Right, right. Everything. Yes, wow. The, the big paintings on the wall here. That looks like very European. Yeah. Is, so that's you know why I was cruising the internet for various, you know, locations yeah. to include. And then I built a small theater and then I have all these small figurines. So I oh. set up a little still life and painted from that. That's awesome. And when people come and see you, where, where can they come see you actually? Like, you know, for the love of art fair is obviously coming up. I'll, I'll certainly be there, but they can find me online at alanlarkin.net. Mm -hmm. And um, I do exhibit in galleries throughout the state, one in Nashville, Indiana, uh, one or two in Fort Wayne, Indiana. As There's well. a Nashville in Indiana. Yeah, there is. I did not know that. Oh, you need to get down there. Great is it, little town. Is it? Has it any resemblance to Nashville, Tennessee? Or not any, at all. No, nothing. Not at they all. don't have any uh, bars or anything owned <laughs> no, by Blake no, no. Shelton. Or, um, and on your website, um, AlanLarkin.net, like, what can people? Can they buy stuff on there? Can they? Well, or is it just about kind of showing what you do? We have we have an Etsy store. Okay. That yeah. uh, people can can visit. And that's where I, I usually have all of these things posted there. Mm -hmm. The paintings, they're a little bit pricier and I don't think they do so well on Etsy, but. It depends on where the audience is. Yeah, I guess yeah, when it's absolutely. a big investment, sure. you know, it's a different kind of audience than Etsy sometimes. So and, speaking of that, the yeah. kind of stuff I'm going to be showing up to the art fair with will be things that, which are a little bit smaller and a little bit more affordable. Yeah. So these things right here are smaller and are comparatively less expensive. When you get into paintings and pastels, they begin to ratchet up the scale. But, you know, we've got a lot of th movement in there. Well, people will spend $1,000 on a new iPhone every year. That makes them miserable every time they look at it. And uh, <laughs> at least with a piece of art, if you think about how many times you look at it and it makes you feel amazing, it's mm -hmm. a pretty good investment on your money, on your return. You know? That's right. So, so I love it. So um, is there anything else in this room that you want to show us? Is there is there one that you're like... This will be the one. If if you had to like escape really quickly, but you were taking one piece with you to run out the house, <laughs> which one would you take? You know, I'm really partial to this one right here on the wall. The elephant. The one of the elephant. Yeah, That's I've used the elephant in other paintings before, and he's become kind of a little symbol 
of, you know, this is me, this is my sort of alter ego, the little, the little stuffed ele elephant. And, and this one is called Elysium. This is where he's finally arrived in, in the, uh, the afterlife. Oh, nice. And he's surrounded by these flowers and he's arrived at his... And is Elysium E L E as well? So elephant and Elysium are like they start well, off the same word. Well, just that say it? that there's a relationship. Okay, there. and I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it feels like the elephant's almost three D, like popping off the canvas as mm -hmm. well. So right. Yeah. It's beautiful. So I know that you're returning. This is your second time at the art fair. What does it mean for a city like South Bend to have a fair like this for artists like you? Well, I, you know, I think that uh, South Bend doesn't have a lot of commercial art galleries here. So this is an opportunity for people to get together and go see a collection of really fine artists. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, this, this um, particular fair does a lot of uh, back work to find really talented people. Mm -hmm. And I always buy something there myself. So, <laughs> you know, I walk in and I think, oh my gosh, I have to have one of those and one of those. So I always leave with, with things myself. But you understand as well as an artist that, and I get it because sometimes when you're creating something, it takes a long time for other people to appreciate it often. And you learn as an artist that you have to find about 90% of the joy in the creation. And if it ends up selling, then yes, there's a little bit of joy in that, but that can't be the whole process because otherwise you'd never create in the first place, right? Oh, right, <laughs> yeah. You have to love what you do. Yeah, but I really do hope a lot of our audience go along and see it and just, you know, just splash the cash amongst all the artists. Yeah, let's splash that cat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't take it with you. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope people go to alanlarkin.net, see what you do there, uh, there and also uh, come and see you at the For the Love of Art Fair. So yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me in your home. And now I'm going to enjoy the cup of tea that, you know, Amanda made for me. So thanks. Terrific.